So, the, and this, and in a way, like this is the weird dynamic with Katrina Pearson because, like, when she's on, so you have like these three prime Trump people on CNN. You know, okay, you have your Kellyanne Conways, you have Giuliani, you have the quote unquote heavy hitters, but then you got Jeffrey Lord, who's like I call him, he's like softcore white nationalism. Sure, but he kind of knows how the game works, and he interrupts and he bloviates, but he he kind of gets that it's all in the field. Corey Lewandowski is like the belligerent moron sociopath, but he's literally just like, if I don't do it, if I don't say that she's like a liar, then like Mr. Trump is not going to have any more lago anymore. So yeah, I interrupt the Gloria Borgia again because number one, she's a bitch, and number two, I'm talking, and number three, I was like in Swamp Scott about to open up like a friggin' like Dairy Queen, and now I play golf. With Mr. Oh Trump. God. So I am not going to sacrifice that. <laughs> then you have Katrina Pearson, who is like, she's actually in a weird way, like a little bit better natured than Corey Lewandowski. Yeah. But just like, you know, unequipped to the point where even people that are doing these segments with her are like, can I really go in on her? Yeah. Because and- she doesn't know. What's going on? Also, she's she got needs this to figure like, out what the hell is going right, on. Right, she's got this mean girl stick. She does as have well. a little bit of that. That's true. And they're not used to dealing with that. Everybody's sort of like putting on their nice Sunday face, basically. Yeah, but and it's she's kind like, of no, like I'm, as if I'm this... here to spit fire. <laughs> yeah, but it's like also like part of what made. I, at least in the movie, like the main mean girl effective is that she was pretty savvy. Right. So you're kind of like watching someone do a mean girl stick who does not have savvy. No, it's just a blunt object, <laughs> just bashing you over the head with it. If it helps at all, she was originally, I think, going to work for the Cruz campaign, not Trump, which. In 2012, she was with Cruz. Well, it's a smart career move because Ted Cruz, whatever you say about him, and I will say pretty much anything, would not let her on TV for him. Yeah. Yeah. So she, also, I think she's just slimy. Also, Raphael like, shouldn't have did that to JFK. Yeah. <laughs> I totally don't agree with I mean, I, JFK was a communist, but, uh, but uh, Ted Cruz's dad should not have killed him. All right. So here is Katrina uh, uh, Pearson. I think we've explained everything there is to explain about Katrina Pearson. She's on with Carol Costello. And Angela Rye, um, who's, you know, I think Angela Rye is just a kind of normal sort of liberal political commentator. And they are trying to talk about, you know, Trump blowing everything up, calling Ryan a weak and ineffective leader and, and rape culture and Trump's rapey comments. And in this one, this is interesting because she actually goes to the very standard issue Republican playbook here, but she does it in her own Katrina Pearson way unfit and we certainly know he's unqualified he does not have the temperament to do this and he's well, only perpetuating katrina rape um katrina, oh, katrina. mr trump well, carol first hit- that's oh, go ahead katrina respond to that <laughs> that's that's quite an exaggeration on angela's part no, but i do not. quite find it rich that we have democrats and the left talking about rape culture when they're the ones yeah. backed fully by hollywood this rape culture is purported by none other than the entertainment <laughs> industry, none other than hip hop music, which you can hear on oh local God, radio Katrina, stations, is as well as network <laughs> television, which actually pushes this. This, this, this no, this, this is, is a bigger, bigger issue here. We are talking about insane. a society who, who puts women on a pedestal because of a sex tape. And then we have the audacity to claim Your that all of a sudden there's this talked about watching compass. Paris Hilton This is something tape. that Mr. Trump Pause said. Who- that was a piece of art. Paris Hilton's sex tape was an expression of a girl that I've known was totally hot since she was at least 12. (laughs) And she did an incredible piece of work. And the idea of equating that with other sex tape, when that was like the Sistine Chapel of sex tapes, is frankly offensive. (laughs) Go ahead, Katrina. We thought was in private that came to light for matter, crying out loud as he was let a part of that hip-hop rape culture. Rape culture, culture. Let me rape stop culture you right is here. an issue stop, in private stop, and stop, public. Stop, 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 because this is important because it is a larger issue, and I do agree sure. with you there, Katrina. We should talk about this because the way that sexual assault <laughs> is portrayed in some Hollywood movies is wrong, and it is, and I agree with you there. But that it's doesn't glamorized. Make what, but, but that doesn't make what Mr. Trump said right. 
right? So to me, when you say these things... No, you're absolutely I don't know, right. No, no, but that I don't is know exactly you really why mean he apologized. Them. I don't know whether you really mean them or if you're just deflecting to excuse Mr. Trump's comments. And there's a difference. <laughs> no, I, he, that's, you're exactly right. Then that's exactly why he apologized and said he was embarrassed by those comments. But what this about really is a distraction from the larger issue. We're talking about two people, who they are today, not who they are in the past. And I know the left wants to go digging through the garbage oh. to try to destroy someone's character I'm by sorry, using that's that. What, you all are what we should doing. be talking about is Hillary Clinton, because she wants to talk about the issues, Angela. Let's talk about the red line in the sand. Oh, Aleppo no, 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 no. is a humanitarian I can't, Katrina, crisis, I can't, thanks Donald to Trump that red line in the sand. About that. Let's I talk about Libya, about Bill the Russian reset. Past. Let's talk about her using... Okay, let's stop right here. The, I want to talk about using the State I Department talk about as a concierge with for the foundation. I, I want to talk to Dana Bash now. <laughs> Dana, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, that conversation was going nowhere, so I'm going to talk to you about the Republican Civil War, because... Jesus, dude. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, it's beautiful. I like, though, that she gave her that minute where she was almost like with the C student, where she's like, okay, you know what, Katrina? You actually made a semi-coherent yeah. point here. And Katrina Pearson was just like, oh, I'm going to go for this one. Go for <laughs> I think that they just try to take any opportunity to give Katrina Pearson a, a, a gold star when they can, because it's few and, and far between. obviously, like Clearly. having her on. No doubt. Yeah, there's oh reasons for that. Well, yeah. well, yeah, she's gonna. This video is gonna do very yeah, well exactly. here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Down there. So over. Subscri subscribe.